And we're going to start standing today. So stand up. Get up, stand up. I'm going to pin myself if you guys need or want that. Then gallery it here so I can see all y'all. Oh, all right. Just coming to standing pose. So just a, a light to Dasana. So I just want to start with some curiosity. Start standing. Just kind of feel into your body. You can allow the gaze to come soft, but I'm going to invite you to keep the eyes open at least lightly to start. Just engage your senses really. We're grounding to Dasana is of course mountain pose, it's a grounding pose. We're gonna work on building that, but first we're just gonna work on feeling our presence on the earth. Um, feeling nice and rooted to our spot. And again, with our gaze, really seeing that support that is beneath our feet. So just take a minute, bring hands to hips also. Just feeling every aspect of your body from the arches of your feet to the crown of your head. Just seeing how it feels today. And really grounding yourself here with the hands on the hips, pressing down. Imagine I'm giving you adjustment. You're gonna give yourself a little self-adjustment here. Just gently pressing down on the hips to feel that grounding. And then lifting up in the torso and out of the sternum. So to really kind of identify this middle, middle piece of top of the hips as your core and your center point from which we ground below and from which we find lift and ease up at the top. And just take a minute to get curious, just how your body's feeling. Maybe how your heart and belly are feeling, that heart chakra, this belly, the seat, the center of the self, how we're digesting, just the literal food as well as our experience and emotion. And then you can allow the eyes to close just for a moment, feeling yourself in the spot. Just gentle awareness, exploring the contours of your body, the texture of your breath, the temperature, sensation of your heart and belly with your hand on it. Just welcome what you're sensing, whatever it is. Be patient. Be patient with all the things constant reminder that for me today anyway is my yoga practice so reminding myself to be patient what i'm doing what i'm not doing what i'm feeling what i'm not feeling acknowledging all the fears or anxieties that pop up thanking them for trying to protect me and then letting them go allow the hands to come to your side and just kind of shake it out. We're not in a too strong of a Tadasana here, just in a good standing posture. Then root, we're gonna contract. I want every, everybody to energize and engage every muscle. So from your toes to your fingers, make fists with the hands, all the way up through the legs and the arms, belly, chest, face, scrunch it up. As tight as possible. Giving everything a good squeeze, muscles, organs, joints. Everything getting a good squeeze. Inhale here. Hold that inhale at the top. See if you can squeeze a little tighter. On the exhale, you can find a lion's breath and stick the tongue out or just open the eyes nice and wide, mouth wide, make a sound. Nice, strong breath. We're going to do that two more times. Engage, contract, squeeze everything in. Hug those muscles, joints, organs, face. Inhale and hold. Exhale, palms open, mouth open, everything relaxed. Feel everything melting down through the veins, the muscles, all ease. And one more time, contract, squeeze, squeeze it in. Nice big hug. Everything contracted. Inhale at the top. Little extra sip of air. And exhale, release. Shake that out just a little bit. Now we're gonna to work to build. We're gonna build this temple. We're gonna build this mountain from the ground up. So feet are hip width distance apart. And we're just gonna start. You can bring hands to hips if that feels good or hands can remain at the sides. 
We're gonna get the arms and the hands involved in just a moment, but just, we're gonna rock back and forth on the heels and the balls of the feet. Just finding center of gravity there, seeing how far forward you can come on the balls of your feet without launching forward. How far back you can go on the heels. Just really feeling also as you come through center, that empty space between the forward motion and the backward motion. And then find that center. Tie a perimeter of each foot on the earth. And then we're gonna roll the feet, roll to the outer edges of the feet. The feet are still hip width distance apart. And then roll to the inner edges of the feet. Keeping everything else square and unmoving. And if you wanna add the breath, it starts to tap into that Ujjayi breath or just a gentle breath with the inhales as you roll to the outer edges and an inhale as you roll to those inner edges. Beautiful. This is where the patient be, patience begins as we work our way up the body here in this pose. Hands to your sides, we're gonna add the hands. Inhaling, palms forward as we come to the outer edges of the feet. And then exhaling, palms toward the back body, rotating those thumbs in as we come to the inside edges of the feet. Don't make them quick movements. They're nice. Gentle and slow breaths here. Finding evenness in the breath as we move into the body. Relax, firm into the feet. Energize fingertips down toward the earth. Big inhale into the chest. Exhale into the knees. Want the feet to stay firm on the earth. So soles of the feet stay firm. So bend into the knees only so much as you can feel that stretch. You want to feel a stretch on the front of the shin, back of the calf. Start to energize the quads and inhale to standing. Press firmly into the feet. <clears throat> inhale here. Exhale, bend into the knees. Inhale, come to standing. We're going to match this movement with the breath. Staying strong in the feet. Trying to maintain that balance that we found going forward and back and side to side. Maybe lift and fan the toes. Getting a nice bend in the knees. Thighs stay parallel. Knees don't come together. Keep the knees parallel as well. The caps moving forward. And now the arms bending at the elbows as the knees bend. Energize through the fingertips. Elbows bend. Come forward. And our hands come forward at the knees. Exhale, back to standing. Start to energize this too. So as you come to standing, you're really pressing through the feet and you're feeling that energy come up through the quads, maybe lifting the knees, bending the knees, lifting the knees, staying with the breath. Beautiful. Come to standing, neutral position. Stop that good strength in the feet. We're going to find some pelvic tilts here. So root down through the sacrum, pull that belly in, chest is up. Feet are engaged. Big inhale. And then maybe a slight little bend in the knees, just a little teeny one. We want to make some space. If we lock the knees, there's not a whole lot of space for this hip musculature to move. So just a slight bend in the knees. Inhale into the chest. And then exhale, posterior pelvic tilt. So we engage the glutes and scoop that sacrum forward. Chest stays lifted. We're not rounding the back here. Inhale, straighten the knees. Release the glutes as the pelvis come back. Exhale, tilt. Inhale, release. Just find that movement with your hips. And staying with the breath. A couple more in here, giving strength and tone, awakening the core and our awareness there in that spot. Each part, of every joint of our body moving up. Beautiful. Come to standing neutral. Find your mountain. Engage the feet. Hands, fingertips come to shoulders. 
Beautiful. So we've got to bend in the knees, or sorry, bend in the elbows. Get strong in the feet. Press firmly into the feet. Lift and fan the toes. Lift the quads. Engage those glutes, just like we did in that forward thrust, but just gentle. Everything is still and aligned. We're working. We're building that strength up. We're going to get some movement here. Just make some circles with the elbows. Start in any direction that you like. You get them in both directions. Into this joint, whichever way you're going, get them going in the opposite direction. Gentle, listen to these shoulders. Inhale, bring them out. Exhale, bring them forward. You can add a strong breath here. Or keep it gentle. As you're working these shoulders and bringing the elbows in and working the breath, make sure the bottom half of the body, everything that you work to be aware of and engage is staying engaged. Three more. You're going to inhale into the chest, open, exhale. Allow the hands to float down. Palms toward the front, roll the shoulders back and down, just gently. But don't hyperextend the shoulders back. Keep them right over the hips. Inhale here. So here's what we're going to work on. So let's go left and right first. We're just going to look. Look left and right. Inhaling through center. And exhaling as you turn the head in either direction. And taking your time. Long and even breath. So long and even gaze. Next time you come back through center, bring the gaze up and down. Bending at the neck. Chin coming up and down. Again, gaze is soft, but eyes are open. Stay connected here with earth, body, sky, aware of the sensations, aware of your movement. Aware of the patience you're having with your body. Come back through center. Here's what we're gonna, we're gonna work on Jaladhara Bandha. Pulling, pulling this chin back into the neck and then jutting it out. Okay, so entire body is strong and unmoving. Inhale to jut the chin out and inhale to bring it back in. Create a few chins. You like me, might have four or five. Inhale, jut it out. Or so, yeah. Bring it back in. And find your center. I want you to contract and energize everything like we did right at the beginning. Release. Start at the, think, start at the feet and think about all of the little movements that we made working all the way up the body. And engage your body in your true mountain pose. Finding the middle distance and the middle way, all of that work and awareness. And then inhaling to really reach through the crown energetically. Exhaling through the feet. Super strong. You should feel this in your quads and your glutes. Everything is engaged. Nice, strong, active mountain. Awesome, everyone. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Be strong in the feet. Inhale, arms up. Big circle of energy. Bring all of that up. Everything you've been working, moving through the body. Exhale, bring it down to heart center. Another big wide wingspan. Exhale, hands to heart center. Allow your eyes to close. Gaze come down toward the hands. Arms at the sternum. Send an intention for your practice today. Is it just enough to be on the map? Are you cultivating something specific? To get acknowledgement. Tuck it away. Let it gently be with you and guide you through your practice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, we're gonna bow through the midline to a halfway lift, hands at heart center. Pause here, inhale. Bring hands to the top of the thighs, exhale. Top body is still on, we're in this L shape. Inhale here, 
Elbows are in close to the body, hands are pressing into the thighs, quads are engaged, pressing back into the hands. On an exhale, slide the hands down to the shins. Inhale, reach to the crown. Staying firm in the feet. Exhale, allow the hands to slide down. Knees can bend if you need to. Hands can either slide to the back of the ankles or come down to the earth. Inhale here, extend. Exhale, fold. I'm gonna come back up the same way. Inhale, hands at shins, reach crown forward. Exhale, stay. Inhale, hands come up to thighs, press firmly to the thighs. Exhale, pull that core in, elbows close to the body. Press firmly into the feet, root and rise. The arms come out. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale down, bow halfway. Hands come to the top of the thighs. Inhale, press firmly, reach at the crown. Exhale, hands slide down the shins. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, all the way down, whatever that full Uttanasana looks like for you. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, hands back to the shins. Crown reaches forward. Exhale, hold. Inhale, hands up to the thighs. Press firmly. Exhale, hold. Inhale, press into the feet all the way up. Hands meet. Exhale to heart center. Pause. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow halfway. Inhale, hands to the thighs, reach to the crown. Exhale, fold, hands to the shins. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, hands to the back of the ankles or to the earth. Inhale, halfway, hands to the shins, hold. Exhale, really create some space in that belly. Inhale, hands come up to the thighs. Exhale, hold. Press firmly into the feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Beautiful, everyone. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's add that on. Inhale. Exhale, full fold, swan dive. Find some space there. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back, downward dog. Adhamukha Svanasana, first time today, or at least in this class. So really take some time to root. Feet hip width, hands right in front of the feet. Symmetrical triangle shape the body here. No strain in the hips, no pinching in the back. So if you need to bend into those knees, please do, especially to start, and then walk it out. Pressing into the left hand and down with the right heel. Pressing into the right hand, down with the left heel. Moving however else your body wants you to move as you greet this pose today. Then pressing firmly into the hands, head and heart melt. Belly toward the thighs. Heels toward the earth. Find some stillness and strength. On an inhale, come forward, plank. Adjust as needed. Knees can come down if that is your momentary jam, whatever your body needs every single time. That's the gift you give it. If you're feeling ready for a chaturanga, you can chaturanga down. Otherwise, knees, tops of the feet, elbows stay close to the body, full torso all the way down to the earth. Forehead kisses the earth. Inhale. Baby cobra. Exhale, press back through the knees, tuck the toes, down with off. Walk it out. Inhale to look between the hands, walk your feet up to meet them. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root into the feet, rise. Straight back, wide arms, palms meet. Exhale to heart center. Keep moving, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Step back to your dog. Greet it again. How can you change it? How can you meet it with more effort or more ease? Inhale, forward plank. 
Again, knees up or knees down. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, all the way to the earth. Stick with baby cobra, or come up to full cobra. Or if you're already on an up dog, take that choice. If you're an up dog or cobra, pause. Lift up through the sternum. Nice. And look right and left. Pull the shoulders back just a wee bit if you can, even if it's just an energy elbows close to the ribs. Gaze comes back to center. Press through the tops of the feet or come back through the knees. Tuck the toes. Downward dog. Big inhale here. Exhale out of the mouth. Release and root. Inhale, gaze between the hands. Come up to the balls of the feet and walk tippy toe all the way to those hands. Plant the feet. Inhale, straighten to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Those hands root down. So do the feet. Entire body engages. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Step. If you're starting to feel like you want to hop back to your plank, you can try that. Again, knees up or knees down. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, all the way to the earth. Variation of cobra, full cobra or up dog. Again, wherever you are, pause, find your strength and alignment and look left and right. Come back through center, press yourself back, downward dog. Walk that out, establish your strength. Give it all 10 toes to the right. Just gonna start there and find that stretch. Once you're there, even with a little bend into the knees. Inhale, bring all toes back to center, reroute into your dog. Big inhale here. Exhale, pivot all 10 toes to the left. You might kind of come onto the inner edge of that left foot, outer edge of the right foot. And again, slight bend in the knees from the side posture, side dog. Inhale, come back through center. Root. Left leg stays strong. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee toward the nose. Pause in that tiger curl. Just feel that strength. Inhale, relengthen. Exhale, come forward again. Crunch it in, tiger curl. Really round through the upper back. Press firmly into the hands. Inhale. Right leg long. Exhale again. Knee to nose. Crunch that in. And lengthen. Bend the knee. Open the hips. Heel comes toward the glutes. Root back down through that left heel. It may or may not touch the mat. It doesn't matter. But we don't want to be consciously or intentionally up on those toes or the ball of the foot. See if you can find maybe even just the inner edge of that left foot. Right hips open. You can find some circles there. Get those circles in both directions. Then relengthen that right leg. Exhale, knee comes to nose. This time plant that foot. Press through the left heel. Find length in those hip flexors before we bring that left knee down. Top of the left foot down. Reline that front ankle underneath the knee if you need to. Anjaneyasana, asana, but we're coming up with hands low, palms shining forward. Pull the right hip back, needed. Make sure both hips are level, facing forward. And then inhale, arms up. Once you find that stability, pinkies toward each other. Lift and fan the front toes. Press firmly into the top of the back toes. Gaze can come up. A slight back bend here. We're finding that back bending, and we're really stretching through the front belly, up through the sternum and the gaze. No crunch in the lower back. We're firm that pelvic floor, rooting down through the sacrum. Exhale, both hands come down on the inside of the right foot. Heel toe that right foot out toward the edge of the mat. 
Heel stays planted, toes can point a little bit away from the midline, so maybe like a 45 degree angle or so. And just starting in this lizard prep. Fingers are wide, kind of nice and strong here. I'm gonna keep this right hip hugging in. We're gonna stay strong there. Pressing firmly into that front foot, so knee and ankle joints protected. Feeling the stretch in the front of those left hip flexors. You wanna tuck those left toes and press through the heel. You can lift that knee up off the earth. Greet that with some curiosity. Find that feeling first. If it feels desirable and accessible to you, and or if you've got blocks that you wanna use, and play with coming down to the forearms, not at the expense of your lower back. You do have blocks and bring your forearms to the blocks for a couple of thick books work. Working on staying long through the spine the entire way from sacrum to the base of the neck or base of the skull. Staying with your breath. Bring that left knee down if it's lifted. Top of the left foot finds the earth. Come up onto the palms if you're on the forearms. Heel toe, right foot in. Tuck the back left toes and hips go back. Half Hanumanasana. Stay in this halfway lift. Find the fingertips. Inhaling to reach forward with the crown. Exhaling to extend back to level the hips and extend back through the hips. So we feel this stretch from the Achilles all the way up into the hamstring, but not into the groin. Toes pulled back and engaged. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And at the forward fold feels welcoming to you. Exhale, bend down the midline. Not gonna tweak over and twist and bend over the extended leg. I'm gonna bend down the midline. Stay with your breath. If you wanna practice some balance, you can bring the arms behind you, kind of in a locust pose, flying. Or interlace the fingertips. Palms come together, square the wrists, pull the knuckles away, open the shoulders. Wherever you are, hands come back down. Root back through this foot, plant the hands, Tuck those left toes, right foot comes back to meet the left. Then take your vinyasa, or take a rest in balasana, or meet and down dog. Take your time through it, use your breath, establish strength, not speed. We'll meet in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Big inhale there, exhale out of the mouth. Root through that right leg, equal gravity in each hand. Inhale, left leg up. Root down through that right leg once the left leg is lifted. Exhale, tiger curl, left knee toward the nose, coming under the ball of that right foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl it in. Really crunch, lift the back of the heart, lift the core. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, one more good crunch, make it good. Really lift. Inhale, lengthen. Bend that left knee. This is Jake's juicy part. Kind of circles in that hip. It's going to be our eternal connection, I think, Jake, is this hip juiciness. <laughs> Inhale to relengthen that leg. And exhale, knee comes toward the nose, plant that left foot. Set yourself up here for Anjaneyasana on this side. Really pressing through that right heel. Get as much length as feels comfortable and necessary in those front, in that front hip. Top of the foot finds the earth and presses firmly, align that front leg, come on up, arms low, palms shining forward. Lift the heart. On an exhale, squeeze that pelvic floor, core comes in. And when you're ready, inhale to exalt. And again, nuance this pose with the breath. 
how it feels best. Maybe opening up into just a slight back bend. Maybe staying forward, working the feet. Wherever you are, using the breath to guide you. Big inhale, reach. And exhale, both hands come down on the inside of that left foot. You'll toe that left foot out, set yourself up. Lizard prep. Heel stays, heel roots. Toes point away from the mat. Both hands firm right underneath the shoulders. Finding the breath here, just feeling that stretch. Being curious about what's going on in the hips. Firming through this left foot and hugging that outer left thigh in. Breathing here. Right knee can stay down or you can play with tucking those toes, pressing through the heel, lifting that knee up off the earth. Nice everybody. And again, staying here, really feeling strength in the arms, length coming through the crown and the heel, or if it feels accessible to come down, exhaling down to the forearms. And also, if you can get lower, you can bring your hands into prayer hands. Maybe the third eye comes down to the thumbs. Couple good rounds of breath here. Breathe into that hip. Back knee comes down if it's lifted. Top of the foot finds the earth. Come back up to the hands. You'll toe this front foot in. Tuck the right toes, hips go back. Feel those left toes up and back. Half Hanumanasana. Really press into the fingertips here. Lift the chest. Find this length. And again, on an exhale, if a forward fold is welcoming you, do so again down the midline. So right and left legs, two parallel lines, and we're going to bow right down the middle. Same option here. If you want to test your balance, root firmly into that heel. Follow the back foot. Firm both legs. Hug those hips in. Maybe arms come back, just in flight or locust position. Maybe interlace the fingers opposite way as you did last time. Pull palms together, square the wrists, then pull the knuckles back. Maybe arms come up. Just find whatever mobility feels good in your shoulders right now. And keep breathing. Hands are anywhere other than the mat. Bring them back down. Step into that front foot. Bring right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, straight into your halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Heel toe feet out to the edges of the mat. Toes point in. Find opposite elbows. Bend into one knee and then the other. Find a good little rag doll variation here. Maybe swaying from side to side. Move that through. Really worked into those hips. Limp moving, blood moving. Good circulation happening. Let's encourage that. Inhale, halfway lift on the fingertips. Feet are still wide. Pivot the toes in just a little bit. Exhale, fold. Left hand underneath the face. Inhale, right arm up. Maybe a little bend in that left knee to get you there. Find this twist. Press firmly into that left hand. Reach those right fingertips. You want to internally rotate that thumb, bring right arm across the lower back. With the back of the hand, find the back. Use that as leverage. Maybe pull the shoulder back and the heart through a little bit more. Gaze is at the sky. There's tone in the neck. Don't let the head flop. And on an exhale, come back through center. Both hands find the earth. Tent the fingertips. Inhale halfway. Find length in the spine here. Really press into the outer edges of the feet. Pause here. Exhale. Inhale again to reach and get long. Exhale, plant that right hand underneath the face. Bend in that right knee. Inhale, left arm up. Find this length and connection here. In your body, here's a conduit between earth element, air element. 
Internally rotate that thumb if you want to bring the arm across the lower back. Again, pulling that elbow or pulling the shoulder back. Open the heart space, find that twist. And exhale, come back to center, fingertips. Inhale, halfway. Pause here, exhale. Find that length, beautiful. Heel toe the feet in. Bend into the knees, let the belly find the knees. Know where we're going, rock back and forth on those feet, much like we did at the beginning, and then find the center. Maybe even in this Utkatasana prep, we roll into the inner and outer edges of the feet as we did. And then just find the middle way, find that middle sensation, lift and fan the toes, bring everything down, and inhale, Utkatasana. Rework the feet once you're here, thighs are parallel. Knees parallel, heels firming into the mat and pulling back. So we press into the balls of the big toes. Inner thighs internally rotating, heart lifting. Palms come together, at heart center. Inhale to lift here. And exhale, we're gonna twist. Feet, knees, thighs, stay parallel. Outside of that left elbow comes to the outside of the right knee. Inhale to lengthen through the crown, and then exhale, twist heart toward the hands, gaze toward the sky. If you need to bring that gaze down to the earth to keep you level and a little bit more grounded, that's okay. You might wanna glance down there also, make sure that everything else is still in the line, make sure those knees are in line with each other. Pull the right hip forward. Continue to breathe, getting some energy here. Inhale back through center, see if you can keep the strength in those legs. This is where the yoga happens. See if you can stick with it. Inhale, heart up. Exhale, left elbow outside, or right elbow outside of the right knee. And maybe that gaze stays down at the feet. Legs and knees to start. Inhale through the crown to get long in the spine, and then twist the bottom of the rib cage. Heart comes toward the hands and gaze toward the sky. Breathing. I'm curious about any sensations coming up. Inhale back through center. Just pause here for one, two, three. As slowly as possible, press firmly into the feet. Palms stay together. Inhale, palms all the way up. Press firmly into the feet, engage the glutes. Inhale, lift through the sternum and through the fingertips. Then exhale, find any amount of back bend here. Glutes are working to help support. Nice and broad. Exhale, come forward, hands to heart center. Hands at your sides, find your Tadasana, allow the eyes to close. Big inhale. Exhale out of the mouth. Another big inhale, reach to the crown. Exhale through the feet, root through the sacrum. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, straight plank this time. Take your version of flow. Your time with it, feel strong, symmetrical, intentional. Come back to downward dog. Here it is again. How is it more open? How is this pose greeting you at this time in your practice? Big inhale, press into the hands, exhale, root to the feet, back of the legs, spread the sits bones, rise, press back. Belly toward the top of the thighs. Turn all 10 toes to the left. Just like we did before. Turn them as much as you can so you can find those edges. This time for realsies. Inside of that, inside edge of the left foot, outside edge of the right foot. Then inhale, chest toward the hands while we're on the edges of those feet. 
And we're gonna come into staggered side plank. If you want this supported, you're just gonna bend this left knee and let the sole of that foot find the earth right in front of the torso. If you wanna start those feet staggered, I'm gonna press firmly into that right arm, lift the left up. Find this energy, beautiful choices, everybody. You start in one spot and wanna practice or play and move back to another, your choice. Inhale, see if you can really lift with these hips, lift that side body, maybe gaze comes up toward that left thumb. Exhale, come back to center, drop the knees, big toes come together and hips go back, balasana. Move here, rock side to side if that feels good. Inhale, fill the entire cavity, feel the space in between each rib right here. You've got a lot of space, knees should be wide, there's space in the belly. Exhale out of the mouth, release. Lift the hips, tuck the toes, downward dog. Again, take your time, don't get too familiar with this pose. How can you greet it this time? This time, all 10 toes to the right. You know where we're going. So use your breath. Take your time. Launch that heart forward toward the hands. Decide where you want to be here. Inhale to open it up. Again, planting that right foot in front of the torso. That gives you some support. Wherever you are, we're firm. This left shoulder is over that right wrist, or the, over that left wrist. Right fingertips reaching, gaze up toward those fingertips. Lift those hips maybe a little higher wherever you are. Keep breathing. Beautiful, everybody. Exhale, right hand comes down to meet the left. Find a plank and take your vinyasa. Or not. We're meeting downward dog. Walk it out. Inhale to look up between the hands. Walk or float or hop up to the hands. Inhale straight into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root into the feet, rise. Long, strong back. Hands meet at the top. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Standing side twist. <clears throat> Look back at that thumb, both hip points forward, press firmly to the feet. Inhale back to center in exaltation. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Plank. Pause there and stay strong. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. We'll meet in down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee comes toward the nose. Make it make a detour toward that right, behind the right wrist. Set ourselves up for pigeon here. So if you know what you need and desire, if there's any support you need in pigeon, take it. Otherwise that knee is right behind that right wrist. And that foot is as close to the hips as you need to find a good stretch there that's not straining you. Shimming that ball, that left foot back, getting as long as we can there, pressing to the toes, pressing back with the heel long as we can before we bring thigh, knee, and top of the foot down. Still on our fingertips, still lifted in the chest. So again, make sure both hips, wherever you are, are facing forward. Nice, everyone. Bring hands out to the sides, on either side of that front foot and knee. Inhale up. And then exhale to begin to fold. Take your time on an exhale. Supported by the fingertips, you need to bring the hands forward anytime you can. 
So as you can bow all the way forward till the forehead finds the earth, or once you're close, engage the core and then bring the arms forward, coming either to forearms, extend the arms, or make a pillow with the hand. Or again, maybe just the third eyes on the earth. Hands can also be in prayer with the crown of the head or bend the elbows and bring them to the back of the skull. Get a good stretch in the triceps and also bring prayerful intention to it. Little pranam. Find your manifestation here, adjusting as needed, and really breathing into that right hip. Allowing things to flow, release, surrender. Inhale, come to forearms if you're not there already. Bring left forearm parallel with the front edge of the mat. And maybe you just bring this right arm across the lower back. That's where you are, that's beautiful. If you feel that you can press into that left elbow and forearm and start to open the chest to the right, maybe that right hand slides down the back hip toward the left, or back, or left, the left hip toward that right toe. Maybe you can grab that right big toe. Press firmly again into that left forearm. Open the chest up to the side. Gaze toward the sky. Feel how the quality of that stretch changes where you're getting into the outer edge of that glute. Exhale, come forward. Find the hands. Plant the hands underneath the shoulders and tuck the left toes. Get the pressure off of that right hip before we come on up three-legged dog. Bend that knee, find whatever you need to work that through. Find your circles again. For all that contraction and flexion, work that through. Encourage circulation. Maybe just pumping, bending, and lengthening this knee while keeping the arms strong. Floating right foot down to meet the left. Your choice here to take a vinyasa or just to remain in rest or maybe find balasana for a moment or just really ground into your down dog. And then inhaling left leg up. And exhaling to come forward. Left knee toward left wrist. Set yourself up for a pigeon on this side. Find where it is that you need to go. Actually, let's do what we did before. Before we go down, fingertips on the outside of that foot and knee. Heart lifts, gaze comes up. The mini back bend here, but again, really leading with the heart. And then exhaling to fold slowly. Maybe the third eye finds the mat or bring arms forward. Find the fold in this side. Your third eye is on your hands or at the earth. Maybe a gentle rocking of the neck back and forth. Giving it a massage. Relax and release. Let everything pour out of that hip. Inhale up to the forearms if you're not there already. Right arm comes parallel with the front edge of the mat this time. Left arm starts just across the lower back. <clears throat> Press into that right forearm and right elbow to really lift the chest. And exhale, just gently start to twist to the left and maybe that left hand slides down. The outer right thigh reaches for that left toe. Wherever you are, don't let that right shoulder creep up toward the ear. 
Maybe bring that gaze toward the sky. Continue to breathe. Come back to center. Plant the hands, tuck the right toes, relieve the pressure off that left hip, and left leg goes up. Find the bend, find the counter stretch that feels best. Maybe just a pump, arms stay strong. Maybe that left knee, it's almost like a tiger curl, but you're not moving the body or that right foot. After the next lengthening of that left leg, float it down to meet the right. Press firmly into your dog here. Inhale forward to a plank. Knees come down, elbows stay close. Entire body finds the earth. Slide the hands forward, sphinx. Press through all 10 toes, point them back strongly. Press firmly into the elbows, lift the chest. So that same kind of motion that we made in finding this throat lock at the beginning in our building of Tadasana. Jut that chin forward and then pull it back in. Next in line with the spine, reaching up through the belly skin and the sternum, feeling that entire stretch from the top of those hip points out of the crown of the head. We're gonna combine a few movements here. Left arm comes parallel with the front edge of the mat. Right hand comes underneath the shoulder. Press yourself onto your left side. A little modified Vishnu's couch. Press through the heels, pull the toes back, get nice and strong here. And then bend the knees. Heels are gonna come toward the glute, but not too far. Kind of a bent knee, a little side plank here. But do three clamshells. Edges of the feet, inner edges of the feet are together. We inhale, knee open, top knee open, exhale, bring it back down. Just a few of those to engage. Front body meeting back body right here in the center. Excellent. Right hand again can stay, fingers can stay tented right in front of the torso if that gives you good support. Make sure that left elbow's right underneath that left shoulder. And if you want, you can stay right here to do these clamshells. You can press firmly into that forearm and the outer edge of that left foot the outer edge of that left thigh and lift the hip up off the ground. It's kind of a modified side plank here. And then finding a few clamshells again at the top of that, the top leg. Staying firm here. Right arm can come to the hips or again, stay in support on the earth. Bring everything down, hip, fingers, come back forward, find your sphinx. Inhale. And exhale down, slide the hands back down along your sides, parallel with the sides of the body, palms up, third eye at the earth. Breathe here. Allow the shoulders to completely relax, entire body completely relax. One more round of breath. Inhale back up the Sphinx. This time right forearm comes parallel with the edge of the mat. Roll on to the right side. Find your strength here in Vishnu's couch. Press through the heels. Then bend the knees. Find a few clamshells. That top leg. Inner edges of the feet. Stay nice and firm together as we open up that knee. Gentle and strengthening movements of those hips. Done a lot of opening, a lot of work on those hips. Knees come together. Again, pressing into the outer edges of that foot, this thigh. You want to lift the hips up. So we're going to be on at the very lower edge of the outside of that right thigh or quad. Strong in this arm, strong in this side body. And again, find where this left hand wants to be. And support still on the earth or along the side body or at the hips. And find your flu, you, your flu. Few clamshells here. Staying strong, not dumping down into that right shoulder, but we're strong in that forearm. Just get a few in. Hips come down. 
Come back to center, onto the belly. Find your momentary sphinx and exhale, melt to the earth. Forehead or cheek on the mat, arms at your sides, palms up. Inhale, exhale out of the mouth. Allow the palms to come down in contact with the earth. Next, inhale, head and heart lift. Pause. Three breaths here. Inhale, see if you can lift a little further. Maintain that lift, exhale. Press firmly into the palms. Inhale, maybe even walk the palms or fingertips back a little bit more. Again, just head and heart lifted here. Pull the chin back into the throat. And exhale, come all the way down. Round of breath here. It's time head, heart, hand, arms lift on the inhale. Energize back through the fingertips. We're also energizing through the toes, but tops of the feet are still engaged with the mat. Every inhale, find that lift, even if it's just an energy or an intention. We're using those back muscles, using our back core. When you exhale, trying to maintain that lift. Three rounds of breath, trying to lift a little higher each time. Feet still in contact with the earth this round. While you're up here, again, maybe looking left and right. And awareness in the neck. And exhale, bring it all the way down, forehead or opposite cheek. Fully release. Next inhale, head, heart, arms, legs. Balancing on that pelvic triangle. Inhaling lift. Exhaling, maintaining that lift, but grounding through that pelvis. Remember for every action, equal and opposite reaction. The more this pelvis is in contact with the earth, the more energy it's gonna rebound back up to us to find a little bit more lift. Lift a little bit more on that next inhale. Exhale, full release. Bend the knees. Windshield wiper those legs back and forth. You can bring the legs down, come into full locust again one more time if you like, or find Dhanurasana. You want to grab the ankles or the feet, press firmly, listen to your shoulders here, listen to your back, and if you can inhale up, upward facing bow, press through the heels or the toes, knees and thighs come together, hearts lifting. Same balance on this pelvic triangle here. Use the breath, maybe rock back and forth. Inhale, lift a little higher. See if you can hold it for one more breath and lift. Exhale, thighs come down first. Release with tone and grace. Everything finds the earth. Gently and in your own time, we're gonna roll over to our back. Fine. Safest way to get there. Simple roll. Once you're there, knees are bent. Heels walk back toward the thighs. Hands, palms come down to your side. Chin comes into the throat. Walk the shoulder blades in. Press firmly into the feet. Lift into bridge. Exhale. Lead with that pelvis. Nice and heavy, but with tone. Comes back down. Inhale, lift. Inner thighs pulling in toward each other. Exhale, come down. And inhale, lift. Hold. Bend the elbows, energize the fingers up toward the sky. Press into the triceps to walk the shoulder blades in just a little bit more. Stay firm in the right foot. Extend left leg. Left ankle comes over right knee. Stay lifted and breathing. Inhale, press into that right foot. Extend the left leg straight up. Exhale, float it down. Keep the lift, we're still in a bridge here. Use those glutes, use those feet. Inhale, right leg up. Cross right ankle over the left knee. Press into that left foot, lift the hips. 
using the triceps here and the energy in the elbows to help keep us lifted, grounded. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, float it down to meet the left. Press firmly into the feet. Exhale, both hips come down. Inhale, move the hips over to the left just a little bit. And on an exhale, knees fall to the right, gaze to the left. Wherever your arms want to be here, whatever feels good for you in a supine twist at this juncture, arms stay low at the sides, come out to a T. Maybe find opposite elbows above your head. Arms palm down at your sides as you bring your knees and gaze to center. Find your symmetry, establish length in the spine. Move those hips a couple inches to the right. And on an exhale, knees fall left, gaze right. Position your arms. Breathe. Just allowing the breath to happen, but just continuing to bring our attention back to it. Inhaling everything to center. Any last little movement or movements your body needs before you rest in Shavasana? Gift yourself that movement. Otherwise, when you're ready, just unfurl and lengthen out to your resting pose. Arms at your side, palms open. Heels toward the edges of the mat. Inner thighs, ankles, and knees gently rotated up toward the sky. Heart open, shoulder blades supporting the back of the heart. One more intentional and deep inhale. And exhale, let your body sink into the earth. I'll be here for just a minute. Yourself over to it completely. Without moving, just return to curiosity you started the practice with. Bringing curiosity to the sensations of your body. Not working to compare how it felt at the beginning, but just working to pay attention to how it feels now. Feel strong, energized. Feel tired. What do you feel in the heart and the belly? The joy, tenderness, sadness, fear. Welcome it all. Bring a hand to the heart and a hand to the belly slowly. Just making that connection with yourself. Just pointing and flexing the feet. 
consciously pulling that energy all the way up the legs, right into your center, right between the hands. Breathing in through the crown, bringing that energy down to meet it. Finding that light, that space that holds you wherever you go. On an exhale, roll to one side. Pause. Maybe find a soft gaze if the eyes are closed. Start to welcome yourself off the mat. Gather up everything you found on your mat that you know you need with you off the mat. Leave everything there that you don't. Gently, slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Let's come to heart center. Eyes soft or gaze closed. Down toward the heart. Really acknowledge the intention you set in the beginning of your practice. And just with a reminder, that being vulnerable is to be brave. It means meeting our difficult places with awakened tenderness. Just to remind ourselves throughout our day to allow ourselves to feel, to go lightly on ourselves. Our strength will unfold underneath the wakeful tending of our hearts. Namaste. Thank you for your practice, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you all. And have an awesome day. Okay. I'll see Love you soon. You. I miss hugging you all. Soon. Soon. <laughs>